One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. So this is your first webinar. I, it shouldn't be because it's mid month, but it might be. <laughs> but anyway, um, the market's broken again, obviously. And so what I normally do is I'll normally go over the market sentiment first. Um, then we get, we'll go over the key traders of the week and just, you know, stock that you guys traded. By the way, uh, friendly reminder, um, I, I, I want to start reminding people, um, don't forget to put, even though we don't have weekend mentoring this weekend, don't forget to submit your charts for this week. Like after this webinar, go and submit your charts to the weekend mentoring um, website because Every single weekend when we do them, we, we only have trades from the last three days to pick from because nobody posts charts from the first week on the bi-weekly weekend mentoring schedule. So don't forget to go and post your charts there. So, you know, we have kind of like two weeks worth of, of traders to go over. Um, so just a friendly reminder. But anyway, we'll go over the key traders of like the week. Probably just, you know, most of them are going to be from today. Um, then I have a that feeling when segment where... There's just so many shitty parts about trading that that when there's just that feeling when you blank and we'll go we'll go into one of those uh, and then we'll get into the biggest mistakes that you can make while trading and then we'll we'll end it off with the Q and A. So anyway, this is just a fun chat. You know, don't feel don't feel um, this is like just treat this as after hours. Treat this as after hours, but you know, there's a webinar attached to it, so feel free to have fun. All right. It's, and let's get started. Actually, there is no pre web. See, I, uh, drink number one, guys. I made a mistake. I didn't delete this from last time. Drink number one. Um, <laughs> I always make a mistake. All right. So there's no prerequisite webinars. If you're binging this one, this one just stands on its own. So let's get, let's get going. So anyway, uh, the overall market. So keep in mind, guys, that the last time I did a webinar for you guys was on the 8th or the 4th the eighth or the fourth i forget what day it was but it was two weeks ago and we had like that's when that seller's market just kind of hit right like like three weeks ago it was kind of like we were toning down off the buyer's market and then that seller's market really revealed that ugly witch and i've been using i've been using that phrase a lot more lately like um because it's just so it's so and i'll go over this in one of my trades but it was just it was you know like when there's a pretty a pretty chart but you know there's dilution or something that's just it's just kind of the new way I've been describing like stocks that probably can't go up, but they look like they can. I call them the, there's, a, there's an ugly witch hiding. Um, so if I say that in chat, that's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up, back to the video. But anyway, we were basically like coming down to earth from the market, like the market was literally um, hot for so fucking long. Like ever since really November, the market's just been on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. And we finally start to see that reality, right? And you know, like that's when I think like, you know, that's when that market was kind of crashing. That was coming off of the, the February 23rd gap down week. It was like the week after that. And so like that, that's when like we had that chaos and shit. And so what I had really wanted then, um, and I, what I, what I had really wanted then was I really wanted the market to close. Like I thought that we were going to be in base. That's when I flipped the switch from a, a, a bullish market to a bearish mar market. That's when I flipped the switch when, when I did that webinar. And and I thought that I don't think that we're going to get out of this switch until like, I don't think the market's going to feel bullish again, or even has the chance of being bullish again until we do a higher low off of 310 and then reclaim 315. I think that's what I said two weeks ago. And I still think that's the case, but basically a couple of weeks ago, no one was comfortable. Right. And it's funny because we're in the same boat this week. We had a one week in the middle where everything was, people were starting to feel like, Oh, maybe that is the bottom. And of course, like I haven't put on any, I, I like, I've been really like, I'm probably the, the biggest fucking turtle when it comes to putting positions back on 
but I have not put any positions back on. I teased with like an SOS swing and I teased a UAL swing, um, you know, just trying to get my feet wet again. But I really don't have a whole lot of faith right now. Like I, I like what I really want to see is on the spy. Uh, well, the spy, the spy's a little ahead of itself. Really, what brought the market down right was that was the tech crash um, on the Nasdaq. And so, like the spy kind of recovered, but the Qs are still, you know, there's still that 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 deviation. And so, when I really thought like the market won't feel comfortable again, um, like barring a huge pullback, right? Like this is a disclaimer, right? Barring like it would, you know, if if, if there's a massive correction, like I don't know, spy you know, SPY 350 or something like that, like a, just a big, massive one, like we make a lower low this time when we make a massive one, then like, I feel like people can be more comfortable buying because we're going to be in, we're, we'll definitely have corrected. But barring that we don't get something majorly fearful like that, like a major fearful correction, I don't think that people are going to be comfortable buying like any kind of text until like, until we start to see the cues like make a higher low, basically. Like, I want to see this higher low. And, and I said it, a couple of weeks ago, I want to see that go up and test 320. Like the bounce was going to be like, you know, we, we, we topped out at, we bottomed out at 300. That top is 340. I should just probably show you guys the chart. That would probably be beneficial. I haven't had a lot of sleep today. But yeah, our bottom is three, 300. Our top is 340. Like just, I mean, 50% is just a, a rule of thumb for me for a lot of things. It's a rule of thumb for me on, on the first bounce, right? Like I just use 50% retracement in, on, on just, as a general rule of correction, I think it's very, um, I don't know, I don't really believe in Fibonacci's, but it's just, I mean, it's right down the middle. I don't even think you can call that a Fibonacci level. It's just, it's a 50% retracement. I think it's fair, even, and kind of expected, predictable. And so like, this is what I want. This is what I think we need to see. You can't see the entire chart, the entire Q's chart. You should be able to. Okay, yeah, like, I mean, literally, like, this is what I think we need. I mean, honestly, like, this is the week that we thought everything was starting to come back again, but I don't know. Like, I, I really, did, I, like I said, I thought it was going to be something more like this. I pointed to this area a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, this is what I think that this bounce is going to look like. I, a lot of people think it's going to look like this bounce. Like, oh, just, we dip, we, we, we pop back, and we go. And I felt like it would be a lot more like this one. I pointed this one or this one, one of the two. I thought there would be a two-stepper. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.